Laodicea is located about a mile south of the Lycus River in the Lycus Valley region of present-day Turkey. We're about 10 miles northwest of Colossae and about five miles south of Hierapolis, the other two cities in this famous triangle of ancient wealth. Laodicea was annexed by Rome in 133 BC, and because of its location on the main trade route of Asia Minor, it became one of the richest cities in the area. Because of its banking, agriculture, its marble trade, its black wool industry, and its innovative medical school, Laodicea became one of the most important and prominent cities in the area at the time that John wrote Revelation. Laodicea is three square miles of magnificent buildings and shining marble, but it's the unique features of the city, the water system, the textile houses, and the medical school that get alluded to in John's letter. Now, the water system here was a marvel of engineering, piping in water from springs nearly five miles away. But the biblical insight comes when you contrast the water here at Laodicea with the hot springs of nearby Hierapolis and the cold mountain water of nearby Colossae. By the time the water reached here in Laodicea with its aqueduct system, the water was lukewarm and filled with mineral deposits, which probably made it unpleasant to drink. To the church here, John delivered the following warning from Jesus. I know your deeds, that you are neither cold nor hot. I wish that you were either one or the other. So because you are lukewarm, neither hot nor cold, I am about to spit you out of my mouth. You say, I am rich, I have acquired wealth and do not need a thing. But you do not realize that you are wretched, pitiful, poor, blind, and naked. I counsel you to buy from me gold refined in the fire so you can become rich and white clothes to wear so you can cover your shameful nakedness and salve to put on your eyes so you can see. Revelation 3, 17 and 18. The medical school at Laodicea was famous throughout the Roman world and was known for ophthalmology, including an eye salve or ointment that has been mentioned by multiple ancient sources. John even used the original Greek word for this eye medicine. Now the people of Laodicea were called lukewarm and later wretched, miserable, poor, blind, and naked. They were advised to buy gold to become rich, white garments to clothe themselves, and eye salve to anoint their eyes. As such, the letter to the Laodiceans pointed to things that Laodicea was famous for in the ancient world in order to deliver a deeper spiritual message. When it comes to visualizing ancient history, Laodicea has become one of the most exciting excavations in the Mediterranean region. But this wasn't always the case. About 15 years ago, I visited ancient Laodicea, whose ruins at that time were only a fraction of what we see today. Since I was here last, something incredible happened. A local professor of archaeology got together with a local politician and they rallied local support to excavate and reconstruct ancient Laodicea. They did walkathons to raise money, wrote newspaper articles to spread awareness, and ultimately they talked the Turkish government into making this a homegrown project for the nearby town of Denizli. It's a great story. And now look at this place, Laodicea. The final church addressed in Revelation has become one of the largest and most active archeological sites related to the New Testament in Turkey, really the world. And to think, most of this happened in the last decade and a half. It is truly astonishing.